It's getting so hard to keep track of what I've already worn. Lovely. Well, howdy, how's it going? My name's Winona and welcome to another episode of Other Chaos. I never know what to say because I can't say in this week's video because I literally don't know until I pull something out of this. So let's just do it, I guess. Gotta love a short intro. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I didn't pick that, you did. Should I... Do I do that? I didn't pick... It just shot out. Is that... Does that count? It's left-handed drawing. Does that count? Uh, that's genuinely stumped me. I suppose it counts. I mean, it's my video. I mean, I, I came up with this whole thing, obviously. A bit T -t Today, Junior! Essentially, it's up to me. <laughs> what would I have picked out? Do you need some WD-40? Oh, well, I don't have that anyway, so in case you're wondering what it was, it's Customizer Pop Funko, which I think it would be pretty cool to either create a character that maybe isn't already one, or me, which it's a bit self-indulgent, really, but I think it would be pretty cool to try and do. I don't have the supplies for that at the moment so i guess the left-handed drawing this is not going to be a good drawing i just hope you know <laughs> thank you for your suggestion let's crack on with it okay so i have decided that since this challenge is already hard enough i'm going to be drawing with my non-dominant hand which is my left hand so i'll draw something that i am decent at drawing and i know that i'm good at I'm going to be a basic bitch and I'm going to draw an eye. But to make things a little bit more interesting and also to... Well, yeah, look. It's to cover up the wiggly lines that I know damn well is going to happen in the left hand, okay? We're going to do, like, drips. Just make it like a drippy eye kind of thing. Like a... You'll see. You'll see. First off, I am going to do it with my right hand so you know what it's supposed to look like. We'll have something to compare it to. And then I'm going to attempt it with my left hand. <sighs> Wish me luck. Right hand, okay? That's that's where that's gonna be. No, I should write it with my left. Should I? How do I? <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. Because that's how I usually hold it, but should I try and do it the right way? Is that how you do it the right way? How do... Whatever, I'll just... <laughs> oh no! This is going to be bad. This is going to be <laughs> I knew it was going to be terrible, but I... Wow. This is going to be actually maybe worse than I thought. And I, I was not expecting much. I felt like a child for a second there. Like, I genuinely lost all ability to hold a pen, even. We start off with this. So this basically turned out exactly how you think it went. I picked up my pencil. I started drawing. And lo and behold, a perfect eye with a bunch of drips coming out of it appeared on the page. Just how I'd hoped it would. An utter miracle considering I'm drawing with my dominant hand, right? Anywho, next came the, uh, daunting part. That is essentially what I want it to look like. That's what I want this one to resemble in some way or another. I also left it like this because I'm stupid and I like to torture myself, but I also want to outline it which is going to end well for this one. And I also want to colour it. It's a challenge for a reason, okay? I'm not just going to be like, okay, that's it, done. No, no, I have to take it as far as I can go. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and make it as symmetrical as possible, but I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is going well so far. God. <laughs> I feel like I don't know how to draw. <laughs> what is that? It's like a deformed lemon. Oh, see, left handed people do this sometimes. They do it a lot better than I do. Wow. <laughs> Fix 
fix it. Let's try and tidy that up. Look, it might not look like I'm actually trying, but dude, I'm I'm trying my dang hardest, okay? Oh man, I've got to make that a circle. That was kind of okay to start with, and then it was when I got over to this side, it was like, that's all I got. But I'm not mad at that bit. <sighs> I keep forgetting to breathe. <laughs> I have to do eyelashes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus. This is fabulous. This is working out so well. Um, as you can see, it's so hard to control. See, I don't want them to be that long. Oh, right, they see, there you go. Just ease into it. No. <sighs> I'm just contemplating my life choices. Hmm. Okay, now time for the drip. This is this is this is where I will shine. I'm going to try and replicate the other side to the best of my ability. That's not where that belongs. Circles are good. Circles are good. <gasps> that... <laughs> that looks great. That... Okay, the sketch is done. There's, there's some bits that look... That is really good. And this side here. I'm trying to think of the positives. Once again with the writing implement in my dominant hand, I proceeded to outline, starting with I think it was the 0.3 fine liner, just going over the whole thing, the eyelashes and the little intricate details, and then I decided to bust out the Tombow marker to give it more of a graphic kind of a look, which I really liked. I am nervous. I am ready! She says so confidently. Oh my god. All I have to do is just trace that very well-drawn base sketch, and that's that. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you ever sneeze sometimes and it just whew, takes it out of you? No? It's just me? Cool. Oh, I need a nap after that. There we go. Alright, here we go. That's 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 that. Oh no, I'm getting the shakes. Just want it to flow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know where to put my hands. Okay, it still looks terrible, but I... yeah, look, no, I got nothing. It doesn't matter so much because I'm gonna line it. You know, we're gonna gonna give it like thick boy eyeliner. You know what I mean? Thick with a double C to cover up all that jiggling. You know what? I think that's not so bad. Or maybe I'm just losing my sense of what's Good. <laughs> no, it's all wiggly. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be going down. I reckon then this. I mended something! Just wonderful. Uh, I don't know. This was good before, so it should be good again. Just take your time. You don't have to rush these things. It's going, it's going, it's going. <gasps> That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, okay. So this bit, I just, I, I can colour in this bit. How come I can do circles really? They're better circles than them. It's the straight lines. Don't like that. Circles, which are hard, I'm all good with. Jesus. 
Even colouring feels weird. I've only gone and bloody done it. Look at that! Ah! This is the hard bit. We had a win. We're going to have a few losses. You know what? Hold on. I'll do this first. And then I'll go back and do the eye lashes with... Yeah, maybe this is the weapon of choice for a left-handed me. I don't feel like I've got any control on the thickness, though. That's the thing. And lift up. It feels like surgery. But I would be a really terrible left-handed surgeon. Many of my patients would die. Oh, see, now it flows a bit. I mean, it's just really gothic, that's all. She's going through her emo phase, okay? Don't waste your time on me! I'm already dead. This is gonna look exactly like I'd planned it. Hey, that still looks terrible. <laughs> that doesn't even fit in there anymore. Oh no. Grant me strength. Thank you. I am fully capable of doing this to perfection. Yes. I don't know what to do with this hand. I'll just put it behind me. Flick. It's just like Harry Potter. Here you go. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Swish. That's not swishing. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. That was not a very good swish and flick. It's not working. Oh, it kind of, it's, it's sort of working. And flick. I flicked too hard. I need my hand. Yeah, see? This swish and flick business. It's working down that end. Dang it, I was going so well. Yep, so that's that. Time to bring in the colour. This is what's going to save it. Yeah, to give them the best chance of looking half decent, we've got Prismacolors. Because they blend like a charm. And I don't want to have to worry about blending. I'm not looking for super realistic because that's not gonna happen in this one. Ah uh, yes, the Prismacolors. There's just something so satisfying about adding colour to a black and white ink drawing. I love monochromatic ink drawings as well, don't get me wrong. There's just something about adding colour that just brings it to life. And I do think it really improved this one. I love drawing eyes, it's one of my favourite things to draw. The fact that you can mess around with shapes and colours and sizes, makeup styles even, the possibilities are endless. I tend to do a lot of blue eyes, so I decided to mix it up and do like a brown-green mix, which ended up pretty cool, actually. Now, it's at this point that you might be thinking, Why am I doing this to myself? And, Why didn't I just make it one colour? Well, I do want to make it interesting, and I really want to push my capacity. Is that going to come back and bite me on the ass? A hundred percent, yes. At least I'll have one that looks alright, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, that wasn't the smartest idea, it kind of looks like blood. Going for a darker eye was a good move so that it contrasted with the bright drips underneath. Right-handed me decided to make my life just that bit harder by adding that rainbow gradient, because why not try my left hand at blending? At this point I was relying on the Prismacolor's buttery smoothness to save the day and pretty much do the job for me. Okie dokie, so that is essentially what I want to try and get this one to look like. Here we go. I added a little bit of this, just a, just a smidge. Gonna blend it all together like so. Just give it a little bit of a shadow. Lightly does it. And once again, we're blending it out. And this time it's with white, so you don't know where you're going. Sure. <laughs> it's going well so far. Why did I do that? I don't know. This is the hard bit. Okay, so I, I went around and I did like a little bit of a loop, dark little ring around the eye, which I did learn the name of actually. Limbal ring, it's got a limbal ring and it's a weird piece of information that just lives rent free in my head. And if I slip that's fine because I'm adding little lines anyway, so it's all good. And then this little bit just in between. Eyes are so cool, like there's just so many colours of them. Mate, 
This colorless blender is an absolute lifesaver, I tell you. <gasps> Ow! I slipped a little bit. I was going so well. Here we go. From red. I think this blenders a little bit red. I think I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. You watch. I'll be ambidextrous by the end of next week. Maybe. I do feel like I've got a little bit more control than the start, though. It, it doesn't feel as weird holding the pencil. So that's progress. I wonder if it's more comfortable holding it a proper way. No. <laughs> doesn't matter if I'm left-handed or right-handed. I'm not going to hold the pencil the correct way. Why is blue and green always such a problem, child? Blend. Is that going to break on me? And those two are satisfying. This pencil's going to break. Look at it. If I can just stick it in. Please don't break on me. I just need to get through this little tiny bit. That's all. Just hold it together enough to make it through this bit. <laughs> this pencil is me. <laughs> I am the pencil. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. This is, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the last bit, and then we're done. I did it! That doesn't. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. I'm not mad at it. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. If you look at them together, I mean, it's not far off. There's like little teeny tiny bits where you can see where I overlapped the color onto the black. The color definitely masked a lot of um, happy accidents. I am pleased. I am quite chuffed with that because I have zero dexterity in this head. I mean, if, if it got chopped off, I don't think I would miss it that much. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, please don't get chopped off. I need you. But as far as what I can do with it, not much. It just kind of sits there. I kind of like it. In a, like, let's just say abstract. Look, if a child was to hand this to me, I would be proud and it would be going on the fridge. I know I did it, so it's not going on the fridge. Right, yeah, well, I think that brings us to the end of this video. I know it's not been a long one, but the way my weeks have been going, I need something short and snappy. And it turns out that the big box of ideas actually delivered. At first I thought it was out to sabotage me, but thank you, you knew exactly what I needed. If you're stuck for something to do, why not try drawing with your non-dominant hand? Because I can tell you, quite amusing somewhat frustrating you could surprise yourself you could you could actually do semi good maybe i am determined now to be ambidextrous so watch out so uh yeah if you'd like to subscribe do so don't feel forced to let me know how you think that went if you decide to try it let me know send them through to me i'd love to see it once again thank you so much for joining me on another chaotic adventure i appreciate it and uh i hope to see you next week and yeah that's pretty much it for me so with that i'll see you later tater